Let's imagine for a second that you just found out about UGC. You watched this video of mine, so you don't have any questions about what UGC is or what UGC creators do or how to get started. You're convinced the UGC life is the life for you. You're so excited and you've even began to shoot some videos to add to your UGC portfolio. But you don't really know how to go about finding brands that you can actually pitch yourself to as a UGC creator. Or even more so, you don't really know what brands are actually wanting to work with UGC creators. If you resonate at all with that, then you happen to be at the right place at the right time. Because we're going to talk all about that in today's video. And if you don't know me yet, I'm Megan. I'm a part-time UGC creator who discovered UGC after seeing someone on TikTok talking about UGC. I decided to look into it, I took it seriously, I put my head down, and within a few months I was able to replace my wife's part-time income just from the money I was making with UGC, and now she's able to stay home full-time with our one and a half year old son, Brixton. And now I have the insanely amazing privilege of teaching other aspiring UGC creators and content creators how to start their own UGC journey and start making some extra money to add to their income streams. I upload a new video every single week with the intention and goal of helping you become a content creator that actually gets paid to make content. So be sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video that could potentially change your entire life. All right, let's talk about how to find brands to pitch to as a UGC creator. How do you go about this? Are there several ways? What have I personally done? Let's talk about all of it. And the first thing I wanna do is give you a real life example from my personal experience because I feel like those are always the most helpful. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how I landed my very first paid deal as a UGC creator and how I went about that. So I kept seeing all these other content creators on social media, mainly on TikTok, that had these really, really cool captions on every single one of their videos. And they were really eye-catching, they really popped and stood out at you. So being a new content creator, I was like, okay, I should probably have captions like this because they look really cool. So I did a little bit of digging and research to figure out how they were adding these cool captions. I found out that it was through an app called the Captions app, ironically. And so I downloaded that app. I found it just searching on the App Store. I downloaded it and signed up for their three free day trial. And then I loved it so much over that period of three days that I ended up getting their year long subscription, which I'm pretty sure was about $60. So I actually ended up loving the captions app when I was using it I just felt like it was such a cool tool um, and I was so inspired to actually create a TikTok video about the captions app and just tell everybody else that they should probably be using it too so I did that I posted a video and it was a really simple video and I tagged the captions app and I had no intentions other than just telling other content creators about this cool new app I had found. So I posted that video on TikTok and then somebody from the captions app ended up commenting on that video and it was so something super simple like, hey, thanks for sharing or glad you're enjoying the app. And then after that happened, I had this bright idea that, oh, Okay, let me go check out their TikTok profile. I checked it out, they did not have that much content on it, so I just had the idea, well, I'm a new UGC creator, I wonder if they have any availability to work with UGC creators or if that's even what they're doing right now with their marketing strategy. So I went over to the App Store, I scrolled all the way down to their app page, and on the bottom it says developer website. So I clicked on that, went to their website, and I couldn't find like a marketing or partnerships email, so I just took their generic email and I shot them an email. They ended up emailing me back within about 24 hours, sending me their calendar link to book a call, and that were they were really interested in just connecting with me. So I booked a call for the following day and it went great. Like we had a great conversation. They ended up hiring me for three UGC videos, gave me total creative freedom to just roll with it and create any kind of video that I wanted basically. And then I ended up making five total videos for them. So I ended up upselling them on two additional videos. So I made a little more money there, which was awesome. But that is really how I landed my first paid brand deal. And I could get into all the nitty gritty details of what the email said, what they said, what we said on the call, but 
I'm actually going to do a separate video about that. So be sure to subscribe and get notifications on so that you don't miss that video. All right, back to the topic of this video, which is how to find brands to pitch to. So for that example, it was a brand I was already using. I already loved their product. So it was a brand I already knew about that I decided to pitch to. So you could also do the exact same thing. In fact, one of my students inside my six day UGC creator course, she ended up making a video example about a toothpaste that she uses. She sent it to the brand and they ended up loving it sent her a bunch of free products and that opened up the door for discussion to maybe turn it into a paid deal. So what I want you to do is think about the products that you already like, that you already use on a consistent basis. Maybe you even follow the brand on social media. Think about those, like it could be your favorite moisturizer, your favorite coffee, maybe it is the cat litter you use. If you have kids, maybe it's the white noise machine that you bought or maybe a baby monitor that you tell all new parents about. Just think about it and create a list of all those different products and brands that you could potentially reach out to. Once you create that list of products, you're going to have two different options. Number one, you could head over to Instagram and just shoot them a DM saying that you love their product, you've been using your pro their product for X amount of days or years or whatever the case is, and that you're a UGC creator, you'd love to make content for them, and ask if you could be connected with the person in charge of hiring UGC creators or working with their partnerships. Or option number two is you could just head to their website try to find the best email and then email them a very similar pitch. Okay, let's move on to the second way that you can find brands to pitch to as a UGC creator. And this is personally my favorite way of doing it. I've been doing this since the beginning and kind of what I suggest you do as well. And by the way, I still do this to this day at least once a day. So let's get into it. So what I do is I open up my Instagram app, usually like in the morning when I'm on the treadmill for a little bit, or sometimes throughout my day when I have like five, 10, 15 minute windows where I can spend some time doing this. I then open up Instagram stories and I start swiping through and I only pay attention to the ads that are popping up in my Instagram stories. So you're probably wondering, okay, why do I do this? How does this kind of make sense for finding brands to pitch to? Well, thanks to Instagram for being so smart and knowing me and you so well, all the ads that I typically see pop up on my Instagram feed or stories is going to be products that I'm typically generally interested in and I could see myself potentially using. So for myself, I see a lot of ads that are like, fitness or nutrition ads, maybe uh, planning organizations, maybe even kids clothes because I have a toddler, and a bunch of other different industries that I'm most likely interested in because Instagram knows me so well. So what I do is when I do see an ad pop up in my Instagram stories, I'll typically just wait a few seconds, I'll watch the video and see if it's something that I am interested in. And this just takes honestly like three, four, maybe five seconds to figure out because you know yourself so well and you're like, okay, that's a product I'm interested in or no, I literally don't care about dog treats because I don't own a dog, for example, you can kind of go through each ad pretty quickly and figure out if it's something that you want to move on to the next step, which I'll go over in just a second. So if it is a product that I could definitely see myself using, then what I'll do is I'll click through to their profile, I'll scroll down their feed and I'll just kind of check out the different content, kind of see what kind of content they're prioritizing right now and posting on their feed. And then this is extremely important. This is the most important step in my opinion. What I do next is I will go and I will see what ads the brand is currently running. If you're not sure how to do this, then let me show you. All right, let's stock a app that I know of. Let's see the motion app. I'm gonna show you how to stock their current ads that they're running. So you head to whatever brand's Instagram account, and then at the very top right-hand corner, there's going to be those three dots. So click on that, and if they are running ads, it should have an option to click about this account, which you'll see under report. Click about this account, and then at the very bottom, you'll see 
see use motion apps ads in the meta li ad library so you click that little button right there and then it will take you to this page so you'll see that motion is literally running 190 ads currently and i see here i can look at all these ads and that is how you see what ads every single brand is running. Sometimes they won't have the option to, and that's most likely due to the fact that they're not spending enough money where Facebook um, and Instagram are going to deem it necessary to show all the ads they're running. But if they're running a lot of ads, they're spending a decent amount of money, this will be an option for you. Now, sometimes for some weird reason, uh, when you're doing this on Instagram, sometimes the videos won't play or it'll just be a little tricky to view them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can do this on your computer um, using the Facebook ad library. So let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so what we want to do is head over to the Facebook ad library and you can just Google this and it will be the first option that pops up. So click right here. All right, so we have to choose an ad category first before typing in the brand's name. So click this part and where it says ad category and always choose all ads because you're probably going to know which brand you're gonna wanna look up. Now we can start typing in the brand that we wanna look up. And for this, I'm gonna use Motion App you click on it and again you can see that they are running 190 ads and when you scroll down you can look at every single one of these ads you can see the details when they launched it which platforms it's running on and you can of course click on each one of these and play the ads just to get a better feel for what kind of ads they're running and you just being aware of these ads and what they're doing in terms of marketing and their marketing strategy for paid media it's actually going to help you in the long run if you're more knowledgeable about what they're doing because if you hop on a brand call and um, you already know what their strategy is you're able to talk with them about it and offer some different opinions and options that you can provide for them it's actually going to help you in the long run and they're more likely to hire you as a UGC creator so go through all the ads not all of them if you don't want to but you can play them so this is exactly how you stock a brand's current ads that they're running did you already know how to do this before watching this video let me know in the comments just tell me yes Megan I already knew how to do this or no I'm just learning about how to stock brands in this way let me know in the comments below I am so curious if you already knew about this trick Okay, so let's talk about the biggest things that I actually look for while I'm doing this, while I am stalking brands and the ads they're running on Facebook or Instagram. Let's talk about the two key things that I look out for. Number one is the number of ads they are currently running. So let's say that I look and the brand is only running two ads or one ad that kind of tells me that they're not prioritizing and maybe they just don't have a big budget to spend testing ads on social media so that kind of tells me that they maybe don't have a large budget and they might not be able to hire me because of that but I will preface that and say that that isn't something that's going to stop me from pitching, right? It's just something I'm keeping in the back of my head. Because remember, there's always a chance that you pitch yourself to a brand and they say yes to you. Even if they're running one ad, even if they're running no ads at all, it's always worth pitching yourself to. But just pay attention to these things. And number two, the second thing I pay attention to when I'm stalking brands is the type of ads that they're currently running. So let's say that I go to a brand's ads, you know, on Facebook ad library, for example, and they're running a bunch of ads and a lot of them feature other UGC creators. And I can tell this just because I know the style of UGC. So if they're working with a lot of UGC creators, 
that actually is a good thing for me because I know that they're probably always looking for more UGC creators to work with to test more ads out. So that's a green light for me and I don't have to convince them that UGC is a good path to go for their marketing strategy because they already know that they're already utilizing UGC in their marketing efforts. If they aren't working with a lot of UGC creators, I don't see any UGC creators in their ads, it's just a bunch of graphics or something, um, then it might be a little bit harder to convince them that they need to test out some UGC style content. But again, it's not going to stop me from pitching myself to them. I'm still gonna pitch them because there's always that chance. Once you pay attention to those two specific things, now it's time to pitch yourself to the brand. And even though I'm not going to get into all those details because I'm gonna be making a separate video all about how to pitch to brands, I want to give you some just quick advice. And that advice is to keep it very short and sweet. At the beginning of my UGC journey, I was saying way too much in all of the pitches I was sending to brands, whether it was email, whether it was DMs. Like, it was too much. Brands don't need to know inside Instagram DMs what your life story is, how long you've been doing UGC. They don't need to know all of that. You need to focus on them and what value you can offer them. And really your main goal should be to get the contact information of the person actually in charge of hiring UGC creators. So again, just keep it short and sweet when pitching to brands inside the Instagram DMs. Okay, moving on to some additional bonus ways that you can find some brands to pitch to as a UGC creator. And I will preface this by saying that as of this recording, I have not utilized these strategies um, because I prefer what we just went over, pitching to brands directly, reaching out to them directly, but that does not mean that you cannot pursue these few strategies in different um, platforms that I'm gonna suggest you at least check out and see if they're right for you. So there are a lot of platforms out there. There's a lot of platforms, a lot of apps out there that their main goal is to connect brands with creators. So there's a lot, just know that, but I'm only going to go over a few different options that I've actually checked out and that I know are legit options for new UGC creators or experienced UGC creators. So let's jump into those three different options. So the first one is going to be Incense, I-N-S-E-N-S-E. -S -S -E. So Incense, I had heard about uh, when I just started UGC and I looked into it, I went, I downloaded the app, I applied for it, and then I didn't realize that you needed 1,000 followers at least on one of your social media platforms. At the time, I think my TikTok account had maybe like 300, maybe 400 people that were following me, so they denied my request to try out Incense, but once I did hit a, fo a thousand followers on my TikTok account, I reached back out to them. I was like, hey, I have a thousand followers now. Can I please be part of Incense? They said yes. So I have Incense, but again, I've never really spent much time on it, so I've never landed any brand deals. That being said, that does not mean that you can't land brand deal through Incense. As long as you have at least a thousand followers on either Instagram or TikTok. So let me just give you an overview of what Incense is, how it works. It's pretty user friendly, honestly. Um, and you can find brand deals through the Explore page. It'll be the first page that pops up. You'll add your profile, some things about yourself. You can even add some video examples so brands can see that. Um, you're basically going to go through and see different opportunities that are available right now. And I will say that the last time I did look into Incense, um, I saw that there were some good deals on there, like brands were willing to pay a decent amount of money for the deliverables. That's not always the case. You'll probably see if you do head into Incense that most, if not maybe 50% of the opportunities for UGC creators are going to be gifted collaboration. So you'll be making content in exchange for free products. You, of course, can decide for yourself if that's something that you wanna pursue. It's not the worst option, um, but don't get so caught up in only doing gifted collabs that you spend all this time and energy making content for free in exchange for free products that you're not making any money and you get frustrated. So 
just a little tip for you right there, but you can do gifted collabs through incense if you like, if it seems like a good opportunity for you personally. When you do see an opportunity that you think sounds like a good fit for you, you just apply directly in incense and then you're going to get contacted by the brand inside the app. I think every single communication that you do for incense is going to be inside the app. So it's kind of easy. You don't have to go back and forth with emailing and everything. So that part is pretty streamlined and easy. So check it out, see if there's any opportunities you wanna apply to and good luck. All right, the second platform I wanna talk to you about is an app called B-Roll. And B-Roll I actually found out about because I contacted this litter company called Pretty Litter, which we use for our two cats. And I love the product so much, I reached out to them, I wanted to you know, make some UGC for them, and they got back to me letting me know that they basically exclusively only work with UGC creators inside of the B-Roll app. So I checked it out, again, it's a great app, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool opportunities inside there, but again, I just, I haven't landed any brand deals because I prefer my other methods. B-roll will take a little bit of time maybe to get used to. It's set up a little bit differently than incense, but again, it's still pretty user friendly. Uh, you're basically just going to type in your information when you sign up for B-roll and th at the very top of the app, it's going to show you different brands that currently need campaigns that they suggest based off your interests and the kind of brands you typically want to work with. And then at the bottom of the app, you're going to see all the different brands that are currently looking for UGC creators to create campaigns for them. It will typically have an example video actually that you can look at so that you can get an idea for the style of video you'll be creating if you do get chosen to create a campaign for this brand. I will say that after I checked out B-Roll recently, there were some brands that were offering some pretty good amounts of money for the campaign. So I would definitely say check out B-Roll, see if there's any good opportunities and see if anything pops out at you. Okay, last but not least is something that I actually really, really recommend you jump immediately into because there's such great opportunities here and it's called Brands Meet Creators. It is a newsletter that you can sign up for for free. Uh, this really awesome guy, Mike Rama, I don't know if you've heard of him before, but he's really, really big in the UGC space. This is basically his newsletter that he created and his team sends out a newsletter with a bunch of different opportunities, uh, different brands that are actively looking for UGC creators to hire. So you can sign up for the newsletter right now. The link for the newsletter is going to be in the description of this video. It's super easy, it takes two seconds to sign up, and every single week they're going to email you a newsletter with all these opportunities. There will always be a link to the brand's website so you can kind of get a feel for them and see if it's even something that you wanna pursue. And there's always gonna be some information about what exactly the brand is looking for, and then if it sounds right to you and you wanna do it, you wanna apply for it, just click the apply button, fill out a quick form, and if the brand does see your application and they want to pursue possibly working with you, then they will contact you directly. Actually, one of the emails I got from Brands Meet Creators the other day was featuring Carl's Jr., which is obviously a massive national burger chain. So they have some really, really cool opportunities. Um, so definitely check them out. All right, that takes us to the end of today's video, all about how to actually find brands to pitch to. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below if it was helpful or if you, there's any other questions that I didn't answer for you and I will try to get back to you. But again, I am so excited for you on this UGC journey. Just remember to keep putting in the work, keep going, and I promise it will all be worth it in the end. I am cheering you on every step of the way.